So, uh, hey there, guys. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's weird, isn't it? No idea what it is. Not happening in the rest of my fence. Just came back here. Been uh, hunting down these bastards. Oh, my boots are broken as well. For fuck's sake. Finally started to. Uh, finally decided I was going to build something on the mansion because I hate not having an actual house. And uh, I noticed this. It's kind of strange. I'm assuming it's just a graphical glitch, but it looks kind of cool. I like it. It's it's an entire fence. That's the thing. Look at that. It's the entire fence. You can tell by the hitbox. And I wonder what it looks like from the outside. Let's go and have a quick look. Just have to uh, kill some spiders. Hey, spiders. You have to. Yes, you are. Fuck you. Yeah, it's on the outside as well. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, peace out. What's up, guys? BTBS here. And uh, I am in the nether. And no, I'm not safe right now. I have not safety this place. But I just finished building this earlier. And for anyone who's wondering, it is Mr. Slab's design. Just uses a, uh, takes him down to one punch. But I brought my looting three swords so that I could get some, uh, get some blaze rods. And now I have to make the run back. And for anyone who wants to know how to build that, I will link the video I watched down in the description, if I remember. It's a pretty long video, but it's a very good farm. And it has everything you need for a single blaze spawner. Hey Zisto! How you doing bro? Uh, one of these days I'm going to do that and it's actually going to be Zisto. Just like jamming on my single player world. Because he likes me. Oh, I wish. Anyway. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, I remember why I don't like these stairs now. Ah! No! Bad touch! Fuck. Shit, leave it. I'm gonna make a rail tunnel going from like here over there. Uh, I just made that bridge because it was a really quick way of getting back and forth and ferrying all my materials. But yeah, so like his uh, video on building it's like half an hour long. But it took me about two hours to build it because he was using creative and I kept running out of fucking materials. Uh, I've been uh, hunting quite a bit at night. I've been. Uh, Sorry, something stuck in my tooth. La, 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 la. I've been hunting mainly creepers and endermen. Because... You know, I haven't got any kind of grinder up yet, and I haven't got access to the end just yet. <coughs> oh no, I can't look. Shit. There's there's creepers out there. Fuck. Um, ah, uh, bollocks. I'll come back to you guys when I'm over at the house. You little Sebastian. Do you want some food? Oh, who's a hungry boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, Fucking knockback didn't kick in. Oh well, Sebastian's dead now. Oh, fuck, you just saw the house. Shit, okay. This is the design I was going for, uh, I was sort of thinking of for the walls of the house, and it's going to be basically four giant solid walls going around this in this area up until the fence over there where it's going to join up with this and I'm uh, I might switch the fence up a little bit and put some nether brick in so it goes better with the dark wood and then the normal fence goes with the light wood because obviously you can't get coloured fence yet but you may be asking yourself hey there's there's nothing here there's no there's nothing that looks like a bud switch there's no clear entrance into this house and uh You'd be very right, there is no clear entrance. I will uh, offer my sword to the gods of Minecraft. Ah, oh, they let me in. <laughs> oh, I made the door to the house. I, I love it. Obviously it opens up very easy from the inside. But uh, from the outside, you can't see the pressure plates. It's not 100% obvious they're there. 
and I put the uh, these stairs here to make it not only easier to get out so you don't have to jump, but also with the stairs I had to uh, see with with the stairs that was happening all the time. Ah, uh, there we go. Just reversed the order of my swords, didn't I? Nope. Awesome. But yeah, I'm thinking of this for the house. I like the uh, the way it looks. How you've got how it circles round and then goes back up like that. And when it comes to the ones right down the bottom, I'm probably going to fill them in so that you don't have to look at the uh, dirt or the grass or the uh, wood. And when it comes to the very top, I'm going to fill in what would be there, like that half bit there, like that, and. Uh, It only goes up one every time. They oh, I was looking at it the wrong way. Don't worry, I'm a retard. I was looking at it as if this one should link to this one, but it doesn't. This one links to this one, links to this one. And I couldn't work out why that looked like that, but that's because it's like goes down a block, down a block, down like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> fucking hell, I'm an idiot. I made a, uh, the door is really simple, just some redstone under the pressure plates. The interesting thing is how I had to wire it up so that you wouldn't be able to see it through the, uh, through the holes and stuff. Like on this side, I had to use some redstone there. But then on the other side, over here, I had to use torches. So there's a torch there and then there's a torch on this block. That shouldn't even be there. So I used a torch there, and then there's a torch on there. So it, I think overall it quad inverts the signal, just to be awkward, because you know I like being awkward. There's a fun in life if you can't be a bath every now and then. There we go. Also, my door looks beautiful. It's all chocolatey. Every time I look at the door, I just think of like them. What was it? Maltesers, I think the half and half Maltesers, where it's like one half of them's chocolate and the other's white chocolate or something. And then the uh, the door actually quite links up. I didn't want it to be immediately obvious, but then I thought, you know what, I'm putting a bridge in. Oh, by the way, my bridge is uh, two upside down stairs connected to each other, and I really like it. <laughs> it really feels like a bridge. I'm thinking of knocking a couple random ones out and putting maybe solid blocks in or different wood colours or like a sign. So it just looks a bit different, you know? Because solid is all good and everything. Solid's all good and it's incredibly solid. That's why it's been used for so long. But uh, it's always nice to have something different, you know? You know let's offer up our uh, enchanted axe. Oh, the Minecraft gods were happy. Thank you, gods! But yeah, it's basically I got sick of not actually having a proper house and I've had this like idea to build here for so long and I've been trying to build here for ages and it just hasn't been happening so I basically just forced myself to build. And I knew it wasn't just going to... Oh shit, I haven't got feather falling on anymore. Bollocks. I knew that I was never going to get around to actually building on camera, especially when it came to this because I wanted this to be a surprise. I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty fucking surprised when I came up with it. Ah, oh, that lines up almost perfectly with this. Lovely. So what I was thinking of doing for the corners was something a bit different. But that mean the corner would have to be there and it'd have to line up along this axis. I could always move that out a little bit, I guess. It's not much. Yeah, I'm just going to move that out. So let's uh, just show you how I build this. So this one's going to carry on from that one. So it's going to be these two blocks. And uh, I know most of you might condemn me for this, but even though it's going to be hidden in the ground, I am still going to put these blocks in. Even though they're not going to go like that. No, because that's the top. So I need the uh, brown stairs. I, I need to reorganise my inventory. My inventory. So that's there, and then the brown wood goes there. I really like these different coloured woods. To use a word that I very uh, very rarely use, because I'm not sure if I'm using it right. 
they have a very good dichotomy. Motherfucker. So that goes there, and that goes there. Yeah, light and glitch. Oh, fuck it, this is all going to be jungle wood around here anyway. No, these are down the bottom, these are supposed to be filled in. The fuck am I thinking? See, I just told you this, I told you guys this like three minutes ago. Why did you not let me know? Oh. See, I wish I, was, I, wish I could live stream, because then I could actually moan at you guys properly. Like that, I could just be like, I actually told you and you could have told me back. So I should put the stairs in first. Yep. Oopla. Oh, I love you, Spade. <laughs> oh, the flaming Spade. Been watching his uh, Mario Monday. I really, you know, I actually have things I wanted to talk about this episode as well, and I'm just talking about random crap that comes across because I'm, I'm exerting all my brain power on building. And then it's white across the top. Right. Oh no, down you come. Blah. So yeah, um, as I always do, been talking to old, um, old what's his face, old robot boy, and we've come up with some more ideas. You know, I need. I'd like you guys to tell me if you think these ideas are actually any good or not. Because as far as I'm concerned, every idea we've had has been pretty damn awesome. Funny if you heard that just then. That was the wettest fart I've ever done. I may need to go and check myself. Oh God! I'm glad I sit next to a window. Ah, oh, that word. God damn it. Well, can I still have the next level on, which will go, what, there? Yeah, there. Yeah, but, um, yeah, you guys need to tell me if you actually like me talking about all these ideas me and him have been having for stuff they should add into Minecraft. Even though neither of us are going to make it. Hey, yeah, my fucking game. And um, the thing we were talking about this time was uh, nether villages. Because the village, even with the uh, strongholds, the nether is still just a bit empty. And now that you can grow. Uh, not close though. Now that you can grow nether wart wherever you want, there's almost no reason to go to the nether for most people apart from fast travelling. And even that's not really a priority because other people can use like super efficient. German engineered minecart tracks. Yes, I'm, look, I'm talking about JL. God, that guy is amazing. Oh, shit, uh, I need white stairs there. Oh, I don't, I need white blocks. I'm out of white blocks. Fuck. You know what? I'm out of white blocks, but I ain't. Shit, how am I going to do this? Oh, the fuck? I was in the stair. Okay, if it works. Yeah, look, I'm in the stair, but I can place it because of its hitbox. Ah, very nice. I like that. Hey guys, see, it looks like white blocks. Uh, fucking door is so loud. What was I talking about? Nether villages. Yes, that's the one. And we were talking about how the Nether is basically pretty damn empty, and it needs more shit in it. And uh, <coughs> villages seem like a really good idea because you know villages are pretty dang cool. Where's the next one gonna go? I dropped down from that, so here. And uh, the idea was the Nether villages would uh, also be a reason to bring back pigmen, the original pig pigmen, like the just pink humans, basically. The ones like uh, the ones that were originally going to populate villages, because I don't know about you, but I think it's an absolute disgrace that pigmen were taken out, just totally abandoned. I liked the idea of pigmen; I thought they were awesome, and I would very much like to see actual pigmen back in the game. I need more white wood. So, wait. 
But then there's some other things that could be very good for uh, nether villages, which is they could specialise in nether based stuff, like uh, glowstone, they could buy blaze rods, that sort of thing. Also, we need a, a villager who can buy uh, spider eyes. Just saying. I wish I could find another bastard who would buy wool. I'm rolling in wool. I've got wool for fucking years. I'm gonna be the best dressed person on this fucking server. Wait, I'm the only person. Aww, I just made myself sad. But yeah, uh, I really, really should keep on topic sometimes. Sorry, I'm trying to look over at my thing and not, like, make it obvious. So yeah, the, um, the nether villages could be made out of nether brick and nether rack and soul sand for a path, which I just think is an evilly brilliant idea. So I've got a bit of wood, but that's my reserve. And, uh, yeah, I just think it'd be a pretty cool idea, you know, add pigmen back into the game. I have no idea how loud that is for you guys, but it's pretty damn loud for me. Let's have a quick look. I'm trying to mine and, and read at the same time. I feel autistic right now. Oh, and it'd be lit with glowstone as well instead of torches. But the uh, pigmen could get mad at you for stealing their glowstone and they could turn into zombie pigmen. Or if a zombie pigman, a uh, zombie pigman could be automatically hostile towards a pigman, and uh, if they attack them, they turn them into a zombie pigman, and you, then you've got like zombie pigman, zombie pigman zombies, zombie pigman pigmans. Oh my, I'm confused. Let's move on. We talked about other stuff as well. One was uh, I keep going back to this idea about. <coughs> different levels of silk touch now it just seems a bit strange how one level can do everything and uh, whenever you talk about silk touch there's always someone who chimes up saying silk touch spawners but you know even if they do nerf uh, spawner spawners spawners are still way too OP to give the player control of directly for something as simple as a silk touch so my idea was a multi-leveled silk touch system at level 1, 2 and 3 and uh, each level lets you silk touch different things <coughs> so level 1 lets you silk touch things like uh, grass, mycelium and leaves and uh, vines you know the basic stuff level 2 would let you silk touch uh, the basic ores like coal, lapis, redstone uh, yeah, and uh, also level 1 would work with gravel as well, so 100% chance, so you would never lose your gravel to flint. As I know, we all have lost many a one to that bastard. And uh, level... Yeah, level 2 would be the basic ores and glowstone, and level 3 would be the rarer ores like emerald and diamond, but would also include spawners, but there is a huge nerf on this. Uh, the spawner only has a 50% chance to drop or something like that just to make it harder and it will not be the spawner of the enemy that it originally was so when you place it down it would be assigned a random entity ID from any one of the animal spawners so you can make a pretty efficient food farm but it's not going to be like an amazing grinder and it's not going to be totally game breaky fuck off spider god damn it Thank you. Yeah, it's not going to be like totally OP or anything like that. This is the only thing I don't like about this door is doing it at night is a little bit dangerous. What the fuck? Thank you. Oh yeah. Why did why did I come in through the door? I'm already thinking of that as the actual door to this place. Can't be gassy tonight. But yeah, it'd be assigned a random ID for like one of the animals. Why's that lighter? Must be a glass thing. 
and then you could have animals. So you you be able to still touch spawners, but it's a it's a good way of nerfing it so that they're not OP. Or say the spawners that you uh, still touch, you could get anything like blazes and the well you could get the ones that you're supposed to get, but they uh, the enemies that spawn from there will never drop experience or something like that, or they would never drop items. But it's all up to them how they'd like to actually nerf it if this sort of thing was introduced. These are just the ideas I've had about it, and I know they're not very good ones, because I have so many of these ideas that I can't spend too much time thinking all of them through. Yeah, see, so the uh, the wall's going to curve around the corner like this. It's going to be quite nice. What do you guys... Yeah, tell me... Let, you, let me know what you think, guys, because... I can always change the pattern. Oh, I don't know if I even showed this originally, but yeah, these are all stairs in the middle here, and these are blocks on the outside. But anyway, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this, and uh, let me know what uh, sort of things you'd like to see added to the mansion, because I've got a lot of place to play with, space to play with, and I'm going to do a lot of stuff underground as well. Peace out.